it's Megan. I'm popping in for another Tuesday tip of the week, just as I do every week. Something that I wanted to go over today is work in progress and what to do with the current balance that the patient may have. So in a previous video, I discussed work in progress claims, what's needed and how to get paid in a, a, a quick manner, right? But what happens with the balance when a patient comes in, has new insurance, and the financial coordinator uh, needs to know whether they transfer that balance over, do they leave the payment arrangements the same, what happens? So something that I've noticed more often than not is a financial coordinator will take the balance of, or the lifetime maximum on the new policy. So let's say um, little Susie's mom comes in, brings in a policy that now has $2,000 coverage. The financial coordinator at the office will say, great, $2,000 coverage, let's transfer immediately $2,000 over to the new insurance. However, this is completely incorrect. We never want to estimate how much an insurance company is gonna prorate, and we never wanna say that they're gonna cover the full $2,000, especially for work in progress claims. This is totally different than doing it at the initial banding, right? We can confirm that probably that full $2,000 will be paid out, but with a work in progress claim, it's never a guaranteed, and all insurance companies prorate them in a different manner. So what I always recommend is to never transfer any balance until at least you receive that very first payment on um, the work in progress claim. So this is how it would work in the practice that you know we work with. A uh, mom would come in, have new insurance, we would say, great, we're gonna submit the claim, we're gonna leave your payments the same, continue to have you pay every single month. Um, once we hear back from the insurance company, then yes, we can reevaluate it then how much we're going to need to transfer over. Um, more often than not, when you do get that first EOB, it'll be broken down by the monthly amount. So you can easily see that little Johnny has six months of treatment left and they're paying $100 a month, so we can transfer over $800. Um, if for whatever reason it's not clear, you might wanna call the insurance company to see how much they actually approved that work in progress claim for to then transfer that balance. What I generally like to do is to not transfer any balances, have mom continuing to pay out just as she normally would, and have the new insurance pay out and sit as a credit. Once that balance starts to even out, right, they're now coming to that zero point on the, the treatment, right, the insurance credit and the patient's payments, that's when then I transfer the balance and we have a small, hopefully, credit at the end that we can reissue to mom. I never want to go the opposite way um, because if I do transfer that full $2,000 over at the start or the, the start of us receiving that new insurance, the work in progress, um, what's gonna happen is the insurance company is gonna come in, they're gonna prorate the claim, and I'm not gonna get paid the full $2,000. So then at the end, I now look like the bad guy going back to mom and saying, hey, your insurance didn't cover. She's wanting me to do all of these runarounds with the parents by saying, or with the insurance company, why didn't they cover the full 2000? I have to explain how they prorated it and it just makes for a way bigger mess. So this is the easiest solution to do and do not change the payment arrangements on a work in progress claim. Keep them the same. Wait until at least you receive that first payment on the um, work in progress claim and then adjust as um, you'd like. I hope this was helpful and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.